the Grace Lutheran Church family and everyone beyond. We are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for joining Katie and me for children's worship this morning. Let's go ahead and get started with our theme song, which starts, Here we are, gathered together, praising God whose love is forever. Pick up your scarf or anything that you can twist around, toss in the air, catch again, something you can have fun with. This is joyful. Here we go. Here we Put your scarf down and let's get started on our theme song. This theme song is based on an old, old song, at least the tune is, called Polly Put the Kettle On. I don't know if you know that song, but I'm going to play just a tiny bit of it. Put my capo on so my guitar thinks that its strings are shorter and it makes the sound that I want it to make. So Polly Put the Kettle On. Polly Put the So that's the tune. If you don't know it, that's all right. We'll sing it enough that you will remember it. So instead of Polly put the kettle on, unfortunately we can't have tea together this morning, we are going to say, take up your cross. You say that, take up your cross, means help someone, means help someone. Take up your cross, take up your cross, means help someone, means help someone. Again, take up your cross, Take up your cross means help someone, means help someone, even when it's hard. Even when it's hard. All right, let's try singing that together. Take up your cross means help someone. Take up your cross means help someone. Take up your cross means help someone, even when it's hard. Have you ever helped someone but it hasn't been easy? That's exactly what this is talking about. All right, so then the first, that's the chorus. The first verse is, Jesus said, take up your cross. You say that. Jesus said, take up your cross. We'll repeat that three times. And then the last line is, and follow me, and follow me. So it'll go like this. go back to the chorus. Now the second verse is, Jesus said that he would die. You say that. Jesus said that he would die. We'll repeat that and the last line in that is, then live again. Then live again. All right, let's try that. Jesus said that The third verse is, Peter did not like that. Peter did not like that. We'll repeat that. And then the last line is, that Jesus would die. That Jesus would die. Here we go. Peter did not like that. Peter did not like that. Peter did not like that. That Jesus would die. And then the fourth verse is, Listen to what Jesus says. Listen to what Jesus says. We'll repeat that. And the last line is, he tells the truth. He tells the truth. All right, let's try that. And then the very last verse says, Jesus said, take up your cross. That'll sound similar. Jesus said, take up your cross. We repeat that, and just like that first verse, it's actually the same as the first verse. It says, and follow me, 
and follow me. So let's do that one more time. Jesus said, take up your cross. Jesus said, take up your cross. Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. And then we go back to the chorus. So now we're ready to sing this all the way through, but you need an instrument. I'm going to put my guitar down because when I was thinking of instruments for today, just to give you an idea of what you could use, I had a bunch of ideas. One idea was this. This is a shelf in a little refrigerator and we just didn't need it. So I thought, what a great instrument. And this is a mallet, but you could use a pencil or a pen or a spoon or anything you can find that's stiff. Here we go, listen to this. Isn't that a neat sound? I love that. All right, so let me show you something else because I ended up with lots of ideas. This is a washboard that used to be used for, well, not this one, but in, a long time ago, they were used for washing clothes on. And now we can use it for a neat, neat instrument. Listen, isn't that great? It's bumpy and that's why it makes that sound. I love that. Whoops. All right, but if you don't have a washboard or one of those shelves from a refrigerator, maybe you can find something else that is bumpy, like this tray that had pizza dough in it. That's a pretty neat sound. Or even an egg carton. See the bumps? Oh, that's a pretty neat sound too. So look around your house for something that is bumpy that you could take something else and rub it on. Or you could even just use your fingers and rub on it. And now let's sing the whole song. Here we go. Take up your cross means help someone. 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 Even when it's hard. Jesus said take up your cross. Jesus said take up your cross. Jesus said take up your cross and follow me. There's our theme song, and Katie is coming up next with her special message. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Know that I love you, and I hope that you all have a grace-filled day. And here is Katie. Hey, everyone. It's Katie. I am glad to see you guys again this week. At this time, I'd like to ask all the children to scoot in close. That way, you guys can hear this children's message, too. So, good morning, everyone. I, of course, again, want to ask you this week how you guys are doing. I hope that you guys have had really good weeks, um, but I hope you'll share your answers with someone else and maybe tell them uh, about something you got to do this week or uh, maybe tell them something about, that you're looking forward to that's coming up soon. Um, but I hope you will share and tell someone else about your week. But today for this children's message, I brought something that I wanted to show you guys. 
Um, so I've been trying to learn how to do a magic trick. And so I brought my deck of cards with me and I want to show it to you. I'm hoping it's going to work. Um, so we've got all my cards. You can see like it's just a regular deck of cards. I have all different kinds of cards here. And it might be a little bit easier if you were here to pick your own card, but I know, I think, I think I can make this work um, over video. So we've got our deck. I'm going to shuffle our cards and shuffle them all up now. And I'm going to need you to have a card, but of course you don't want me to see it. I want you to be able to see it, but I can't see it. Um, so I'm actually going to close my eyes and I'm going to um, cut the deck and I'm going to show you your card. So this is going to be your card. I'm hopeful that you can see it uh, and see what your card is. I definitely can't see it, so um, hopefully you can and you know what it is because I'm going to put the deck back together um, and I need you to remember what your card is. So putting the deck back together and I have it here. And now that it's all back together, I'm going to open my eyes um, so that I can do the rest of the trick. So I've been reading and I know that if I snap my fingers over the deck, um, that I should be able to find your card. So we've got our deck here and I'm going to snap my fingers and then I'm going to find your card. Let's see. Was this your card? Now, as we know earlier, I could not see uh, what your card was, and so I've got the three of diamonds here, um, but I'm actually going to have to pause this video to go back and check to see if I got the right card that you had. Um, so hang with me while the video cuts so I can go back and check to see if I got the right card to see if the trick worked. All right, everyone, so I'm back, and I found out that trying to do this magic trick, you guys actually had the four of spades as your card, and the card that I had picked for you um, that I was supposed to be finding out as magic was actually the three of diamonds, so it turns out my trick did not work. Um, but I thought about it a little bit more, and I realized something. Um, I realized that when I was reading the directions, there was a lot of directions to learn how to do the magic trick, right? And I might have skipped some of them. I realized that I remembered the part where you were supposed to get a deck of cards and shuffle them, and I remember the part where you're supposed to um, cut them and have or have the person choose a card, um, and I remembered the part where you're supposed to snap and I was supposed to find your card, but I didn't remember um, all the other parts in the middle. And so I realized that I was trying to skip along and maybe in some senses take an easier way because I thought that magic would just work like that. And I was thinking about this trick today um, because sometimes in our lives, right, we want things to go easy and we want things to work just like that. And in fact, in our Bible story today, Jesus' friends want that to happen. So in our story, Jesus is explaining um, some of the things that are going to happen to him in the future, right? He's kind of foretelling or um, telling them in advance what he knows will happen to him in the future. He knows about the cross and he knows about his suffering and he knows about his resurrection, um, but his friends, they want to skip straight to the point, right? Uh, they want to go the easy route. They say, none of this matters. We want to go ahead and get to the good part. And Jesus explains to them um, that they're, they're doing it wrong. They're focusing on the wrong thing. They're trying to get ahead easily. And he explains to them that these are things that have to happen to him and that eventually he will be resurrected. And he says, if you want to follow me, it is not always going to be really easy, right? Sometimes it's hard to do the right thing. Sometimes it's hard to follow Jesus. Sometimes it's hard to do the things we know God has asked us to do. But Jesus says that we should do them anyway. We should focus on these things um, that God has asked us to do to follow Jesus and to spread God's love. That it's not always going to be the easy way out, but it will be a good result in the end. So I hope you guys remember um, that even though I'm not that great at magic, and even though it is not always easy to follow Jesus, um, that it is always the right thing to do to listen for God's words um, and to spread God's love to other people. All right, guys, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much uh, for loving us and for helping us along. Even when it's not easy, we know that we should listen for your words. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that you guys have a great week, and I hope to see you guys again soon. All right. Bye, guys.